Hello, Schiff here, and um, yeah, I found something really um, useful. Mm, so a lot of people are actually like ask me how to change a material on an object. So I made a tutorial how to change the textures, but it's not the same as the material itself. So we have a base object here and also the base material. So I'm gonna add a second color or material, how you can call it. I call it a color because it's basically like just a blame color that I added. So what we're gonna show you here today is how to actually enable or disable the color in here. So we have like only the base texture and you can have the opinion to have also the normal material. So we're gonna work here with an enable or disable color user data. So actually didn't like create it yeah so you just create an um yeah user data wait i will just redo this to be honest like if you don't know so we just use the data we add a user data and we don't need this we um have to have like a boolean yes and to make it nice we wish we were gonna pick a bitmap bool so we're gonna use the default value at uh, the i, and um, let's rename it to enable slash disable color, or you can call it what actually whatever you want. And wow, rip English. Um, so yeah, we have the user data. So what we're gonna do now is create um expresso tag on your object so first of all i want to do some explaining to you um, this triangle we're going to use and also the material tag um, so here in the selection there's a really neat thing to know like you have the polygon selection by one this is actually the name of this triangle in here so what this triangle actually does is gets like the selection, it saves a selection on of the object where it's tagged on. So you can actually have like a few features here like height and the polygons that you have selected. And this is the saving of the selection. So you can change the name of the selection in here by something that doesn't exist. So by example one and let's just unhide this so we can see it so if the selection is one because there's no um selection tag that's it's named one so if you change to one it will be invisible and if we change it back to the name of the polygon selection then it will then the texture will go to um, the polygon selection so we can see here all right so what we actually want to do is make a user data of this. So it's much simpler to use. Um, so we like just actually start with creating an expression tag. So we're gonna change the selection here with a user data. So we need a few things for that. That is the, the texture itself and the object or um, the tag like the null here where you um, got the, the user data on so we're just gonna select the user data and that is enable or disable color and we have the texture here but we're gonna leave that for later first of all you need two things and let me ex let me explain this later to you first of all we need an, a comparator and we need two of those Be um, well, because this is user data that works with zero and one ciphers. So when it's enabled, it's one. And when it is disabled, it's zero. So first of all, let's just um, drag this to here, to the inputs. And input one it has to be zero. So we have a user data to, um, oh fuck, I can't explain. <laughs> uh, I hope you mean, it. Uh, well, rip English as well. Um, I hope you can understand this, to be honest. Um, so one 
and zero because use data works with one and zero ciphers. And then for the next thing we need conditions. And um, in my last tutorial, I showed you how to um, change like the textures, but now we're gonna change the text of the selection in here to um, one and then the name of the triangle, like the selection tag. So first of all, we're gonna change the in the node, the data type to, where is it, string. So string is just a simple thing to add like a text in. And um, that just uh, connects the outputs with the switch for both of them. And then, oh, then the output of the first condition to the input of the second. Uh, what that will do is just switch um, the first to the second one for one object, so the material tag. Um, let's do the output to the input. So if you don't know, um, the red things is the output and the blue things are the inputs. So let's just find the selection in here for from the here selection tag. And first we add like the one because Zero means um, when it, this is like this, when the eyes isn't like colored in. Um, and then the input on the second one, uh, we will change it to the name of the selection tag. So let's just copy this with um, control C and paste it in here. And that will do it. So now we have a user here to and actually enable or disable the color or material. So this is a material tag, it disables like everything. So you can also like add a texture in here, like my beautiful face, and you can enable or disable it. And that's pretty useful. No, yes, useful. <laughs> so, I think this will wrap it up for this tutorial, this will be the end and um, I will see you in a later video because I will be uploading again. <laughs> Bye guys, see you!